I will share some examples with you so that you can easily get started with this remarkable piece of hardware. The examples will include number one, how to control the onboard LED. Number two, how to make an IoT based two way communication system using the new Blink V2.0. We will control an LED and monitor a potentiometer as well. So without any further delay, let's get started. The new ESP32 5 Beetle 2 is based on the ESP32 S3 WROOM1 generic Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth low energy microcontroller module that is built around the ESP32 S3 series of SOCs. Now let's start with our first example that is blinking the onboard LED that is connected to the digital pen 13 just like the Arduino. Anyway to control the onboard LED for this first of all we will need to add the ESP32 5 Beetle 2 in the Arduino IDE. Because by default no ESP32 board is installed in the Arduino IDE and you can confirm this by going to the tools menu then to board and you can see there is no ESP32 board. So first we will need to add it in the boards list. For this go to my website and copy this board manager URL link. Then go back to the Arduino IDE, go to the file menu, then preferences and paste this link in the additional boards manager URLs. Next go to the tools menu, then board and click on the boards manager. Search for the ESP32. You can see we have Arduino ESP32 boards and ESP32 by Espressive Systems. So make sure you install this one and don't forget to select the latest version. Finally, the board installation has been completed and now we can confirm this by going to the boards list. You can see all the different variants of the ESP32 boards have been added. So let's scroll down and check if we can find the DF Robot 5 Beetle ESP32 S3 board. Here it is. So we are done with the difficult part. And now let's open the LD blinking program. This is the same exact program used to control the Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano onboard LED. The purpose of this program is to turn on and turn off the onboard LED. If you are new to the Arduino IDE, then I highly recommend watch my one hour video on the Arduino course. Anyway, to upload the program, make sure your ESP32 5 Beetle 2 board is connected to your laptop or PC. Go to the tools menu and select the DF Robot 5 Beetle 2 ESP32 S3 board. Make sure you enable the USB CDC on boot. Set the flash size to 16 MB 128 MB. Set the partition scheme to 16 MB flash 3 MB. Set the PS RAM to OPI PS RAM and finally select the port and then you can upload the program. The program has been successfully uploaded. Now you can see the onboard LED is blinking exactly the same way you can control any I.O. pin. Now in this next example we are going to control this LED and monitor this potentiometer using the new Blink Video 0. First, let me explain the connections. 
The rightmost and leftmost legs of the potentiometer are connected to the 5 beetle board pins 3.3 volt and ground. Whereas the middle leg of the potentiometer is connected to the analog pin A0. Cathode leg of the LED is connected to the ground pin and the anode leg of the LED is connected to the digital pin D12 through this 330 ohm current limiting resistor. 330 ohm resistor I usually use when I use 5 volts compatible controller boards like Arduino. But since this is a 3.3 volt compatible controller board, so technically you will need a resistor of 40 ohms. But to be on the safe side, you can use a resistor of 100 ohms. But right now I have a 330 ohm resistor and that's why I used it and I know it's going to reduce the LED brightness. Anyway, you can follow this circuit diagram. Now before we start setting up the Blink Cloud dashboard or the Blink IoT app for controlling the LED and for monitoring the potentiometer, first we will need to install the Blink library in the Arduino IDE. So let's do it. While the Arduino IDE is open, go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Search for the Blink. And make sure you install the Blink by this guy and don't forget to select the latest version. Anyway, you can see I have already installed it. So once you are done with the Blink library installation, then you can start working on the Blink Cloud dashboard. I already have a getting started video on the new Blink V2.0 and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. So for the step-by-step -step explanation, you can follow that video. I have added a link in the description in that video, I have used the same LED and potentiometer. Once your dashboard is ready, copy these credentials and paste it in the programming. You can download this program from our website electronicclinic.com. Finally, you can upload the program. You can see the program has been uploaded. Next, restart your ESP32 5 beetle board and make sure your laptop and 5 beetle boards are connected to the Wi Fi. Go back to your Blink Web dashboard and check if the value on the gauge updates as you rotate the knob of the printer On my side, it's working. Now, let's set up the Blink IoT app on the cell phone. Blink IoT app setup I have already explained in the new Blink V2.0 getting started tutorial. So I highly recommend you guys should watch that video because in that video I have explained a lot of other things. Anyway for now just follow the same exact steps and if in case you face any issues then you can watch that video.
Now I can use this app to control the LED and for monitoring the potentiometer. You can replace this LED with a relay to control high voltage and high ampere AC or DC loads and the same thing applies to the potentiometer. You can replace it with any other analog or digital sensor. The Blink Whip dashboard and the Blink IoT app setup will remain exactly the same. For the better understanding you can go ahead and watch my other videos on the new Blink V2.0.